Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those who suspect they may have been abducted by aliens but don't want to bring it up at family dinner, gather around. Today, we're going to unravel the universe's greatest mystery. Did aliens build the pyramids? And more importantly, why the heck would they even want to? Let's set the scene. It's about 4,500 years ago. Earth is a booming hotspot of sand, camels, and people who think chiseling rocks all day is the height of civilization. Meanwhile, across the galaxy in a little alien coffee shop on planet Zorgon 7, the Supreme Galactic Council is having their annual brainstorming session. All right, team, says Zorblax III, head alien honcho sipping on a double caffeinated plasma latte. We need a new rest stop for our intergalactic highway, somewhere scenic, where we can refuel our flying saucers and grab a quick meteor burger. Any ideas? A tiny alien named Glorb raises a tentacle. Earth? Earth? The one with the weird bipedal creatures who think fire is cutting-edge technology? Zorblack snickers. Exactly. They're so clueless, we can build anything and they'll just call it magic. Plus, the desert has plenty of open space, like galactic street parking. Fast forward to the Egyptian desert. Picture this, a fleet of UFOs descending dramatically through the clouds. Their lights so bright the locals think Ra, the sun god, is throwing a rave. But these aliens don't come in peace, they come in efficiency. You see, the pyramids weren't tombs, no, no, no. They were intergalactic loading docks. Each pyramid was like a massive truck stop for UFOs. The sleek, angular design? That's just alien minimalism. Those mysterious shafts pointing to the stars? They're alien Wi-Fi antennas. And all those theories about slaves hauling blocks for decades? Puff. It was aliens with anti-gravity beams and a playlist of lo-fi beats to chill and levitate rocks to. But why did they make it so big and flashy? Well, here's where it gets weird. Turns out aliens love to flex. Building giant, perfect pyramids was their version of posting gym selfies on the galactic Instagram. One alien even said, let's make the Sphinx too. Another alien said, why? The first alien replied, because I bet those humans will spend thousands of years arguing whether it's a lion, a king, or just some dude's cat. And here we are today, staring at these wonders, wondering if it was genius or a practical joke that got wildly out of hand. Now, imagine ancient humans watching these glowing beings zooming around, stacking massive blocks with ease. What do they do? Write it down, invent science. Nah, they just go, yup, definitely gods. Let's start worshiping. And who can blame them? I mean, if a UFO landed in your driveway, you'd probably offer it a snack, too. So next time you visit the pyramids or see a documentary where some archaeologist says these were built by sheer manpower, just remember, somewhere out there in the galaxy, an alien named Glorb is laughing so hard he's snorting his plasma latte through three nostrils. And that's the story of how the pyramids became the first ever interstellar pit stop, a galactic waffle house, if you will. Now, before you leave this video and start Googling alien conspiracy theories, do me a favor, smash that like button, leave a comment about your favorite alien meme, and don't forget to subscribe to In Asking A Now for more stories like this. Because who knows, maybe next time, we'll figure out if Bigfoot is just a dude in a really good bear costume. Stay curious, stay weird, and watch the skies, or at least YouTube, Peace out.